This demonstration shows you how to create a sales order in Dynamics SL using the Catalina Technologies web services. This demonstration builds on the project created in Demo 1. You can download that from catalinatechnology.com. We can create an order with very few variables required. First, we'll go ahead and create an order object so that we can fill it out. We'll also go ahead and set a customer ID, an SO type ID, and a ship via ID. Generally, that's all that's required to create a sales order. Now let's go ahead and create miscellaneous charges. It's populated by a data table. The orders line items are created by using an array of order items. In this case, we'll go ahead and create two. Let's create the first line item. The only thing that's required is inventory ID, quantity, and sales price. Note the sales price. If you put in your own price, it'll set it with your price. If you put in negative 999876, Solomon will set it for you. If Solomon sets it, then the price will be based on the Solomon pricing rules. Let's now call the place order method, and that method will return an order object that comes back from Dynamics SL. All the other fields will be filled in for you, including order number and everything else. Now let's do some error checking. If the returned order has an error string that's not empty, then an error has occurred. So we'll go and check it. If it's not empty, then we know that there's been an error. If it is empty, then we know everything had happened okay. Now let's create a breakpoint so that when we run this, we can step through the lines of code and see what's happening. Let's start debugging. We'll start stepping through the lines of code. Let's place the order passing our order object. And now we return the error string. In this case, it's empty, so that means no errors occurred. Since the error string was empty, we'll now just show the order number that was passed back by SL. And that's it. A few lines of code and you've got an order created. Now let's look up the order in Dynamics SL. Now let's try to do something wrong and make an error. We'll go ahead and change the inventory ID to an invalid inventory ID. Let's run it and start stepping through. When the place order method is called, it retrieves an error string invalid ID. Then it shows the message box. As you can see, it's very easy to create a sales order in Dynamics SL using the Catalina Technologies web services. The web services do all the heavy lifting for you and make sure that all business rules are followed. You can find more examples and the source to this example at www.catalinatechnology.com.